Here we have a great blurb module with this cool hover effect and you can get this blurb module for free. In this video I'm going to show you how you can load this module on your page but also how you can create it from scratch. So without any further ado let's get started. Using Dividend On Demand you can insert this module onto the page in no time. Click Add from Library, select Dividend On Demand tab and click the load button below this blurb. The module is going to be saved to the library. After that click update to update the page and then once again click add from library. This time select add from library tab and here select the module that you just saved to the library. You don't have to do anything else. The CSS code is also added to the page automatically so you don't have to paste anything. The CSS code is in this locked module here. Once again click update page and now we can preview. And there we go, here's the module. But let me also show you how you can create such a module from scratch. Add a new standard section and choose a three columns row. Then go to section settings and select advanced tab. You want to add this CSS ID and the CSS class. Then save the section. Go to Raw Settings. And inside the Design Options, choose uh, to use the custom width and make it 1170 pixels. Also, uh, use the custom gutter width and make it 2. That's it for the Raw Settings. Now we want to add the blurb module. You can add it to any of these three uh, columns. Inside the content tab we want to add a title. I'm going to add this one and also some content. But also we want to uh, use the icon. So to use the icon set this option to yes. And let's choose an icon for example this one. That's it for the content tab. Now let's switch to the design tab. For the icon color I'm going to choose this one. Uh, let's use a custom icon font size and we are going to make this 60 pixels. Let's center the text. Now we also want to change the style of the title and the body text. For the title I'm going to choose Playfair Display Font. I'm going to choose bald also I want it to be centered and the same color as the icon and also I'm going to change the title text size to 30 pixels. For the body text I'm going to choose this font uh, we can leave it to be regular also centered and the same color. For the font size I'm going to make it 16 pixels. Let's also add some Adding, for example like this you can copy the same values or add your own if you prefer and let's switch the advanced tab and here we want to paste some CSS in before box and main element box for the before paste this and you can find all the CSS in our text tutorial so you can grab it from there and paste it here for the main element we only want to add a background color and that's this one. Now you can save the module. Now let's just clone this module to other two empty columns. Here's one and let's do that once again. But of course we also want to change the content and perhaps the background color of this so how we can make it look as the same as on the demo page. For the second module let's add this title for example and for the icon let's choose some other one. Uh, let's choose this one and also in advanced tab we want to change this content here. We can say view work for example and also let's change the background color. Let's add this one. Now we can save and exit and let's do the same for the third module. Once again click the module settings 
change the title, uh, also the icon. This title says read our blog, so let's choose appropriate icon, for example this one. And also in advanced tab let's change this content. This is the hover title, so we can make it say our latest news for example. And also let's change the background color. For this one we are going to add this color. Save it. Now that we have added our blurbs and edited all the settings, we need to do one more thing and that's to add the custom CSS code. For that click page settings and we want to add our CSS here or you can create new row uh, and you can insert the card module and add your CSS there. So we want to paste our CSS here and once again you can grab the CSS from the text uh, tutorial. So let's just paste it here and click the save. Now let's update our page and let's preview. And there we go. Uh, one thing I forgot here uh, on the demo we have border radius so we have the rounded corners for the module. You don't have to do this if you don't want to but uh, this is how you can do it. Go to module settings go to design tab, scroll down to border options and you can set the rounded corners here. Let's for example choose oops, 20. Let's save and update once again just to make sure. And there we go. You can do that for other two modules if you would like to. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.